If the last time you've played Tetris was back in 1989, you've got a lot to learn. You can't just rely on Tetrises anymore. You're gonna need to learn how to do T-spins, perfect clears, and combos. Let's start by learning T-spins. T-spins are special line clears that happen when you spin the T-tetramino into holes with a T-shaped configuration. To get really technical about this, the T-tetramino has to be surrounded with minos on three corners, like this, for the game to reward the line clear with a T-spin bonus. That's a lot to think about though, so I'll try to simplify it for you. What you just saw were line clears called T-spin doubles. They're T-spins that clear two lines at once. You can generalize their construction into two parts. First, you need to make the base of the T-spin, which contains the T-shaped hole. Then, to satisfy the three-corner rule, you need to top off the hole with an overhang. After that, Soft drop the T-Tetramino into the hole, rotate it, and clear. You can also do a T-spin called a T-spin triple. These can look confusing, but this is how they work. Instead of a T-shaped hole that's two rows tall, you need T-shaped holes that are three rows tall like this. Then, you need to top them off with an overhang with this spacing. Stick the T-Tetramino into the overhang, and press the rotate button to kick the piece into the hole. T-spin triples can send 6 rows or more of garbage, which is more powerful than a Tetris. Crazy, right? T-spin doubles and T-spin triples both have situations where one may be more useful than the other. But generally, T-spin doubles keep your stack cleaner, whereas T-spin triples leave this overhang you'll have to deal with somehow. For that reason, you'll see players using T-spin doubles as their mid-game form of attack. Since T-spin doubles are critical for keeping up your damage, let me show you more specific ways of making them. Remember, T-spin doubles have two parts, the base and the overhang. I think the base is something you can mostly figure out by just playing a lot. Overhangs, on the other hand, are useful to learn before you start practicing. Here are some ways you can make an overhang with the S or Z tetramino. You can lay an S or Z tetramino flat like this to complete the T-shape. You can also stick them vertically like this. Finally, you can hang them over another piece like this. Placing them like this is also useful. Now for the L and J tetraminos. Lay them flat over the T-shaped hole, or hang them carefully off of another piece. For the O tetramino, just lay them on top like this. You can also make the overhang with the eye tetramino. You can make the overhang with the T tetramino too but usually you want to save them for doing the actual T-spin. That's not a hard rule though. If you see a clean opportunity, just go for it. And that's it. Those are the common ways to make the overhang for a T-spin double. I know T-spins might seem like a totally different way of playing Tetris, but if you practice them a lot, I'm sure you'll get the hang of them. You'll be annihilating your friends in no time. Yeah.